Hey guys, not sure if I told you about this project before, but you know how I love to start new things before um, finishing the previous ones. So <laughs> my subwoofer retrofit is pending, my USB hub retrofit is pending, all other things over here are pending, but still I'm going to start with this one. So over here I have the uh, MIP2 infotainment system, I've disconnected the quad lock and I've removed the blue connector from the quad lock. If you follow my channel you know that I've retrofitted a rear view camera over here, it's a high version of the camera, so it's uh, accessible with a diagnostic tool under an address of uh, 6C, I believe, and you can control this camera from this button, there are different modes and so on and so on. And over here, in this blue connector, you can see those two pins, and this is the video, analog video signal that comes from the camera to the unit, which later on puts it on the display. And right now, I'm going to pass through this signal through this uh, through this strange device that I that I've created. This is basically what it is is an is it's an relay over here, and the signal will come through over here, and no, it's the other way around. It will come in over here, and it will go through the relay and go into the unit to the blue connector here and uh, to the unit, and um, over here, this red. Uh, connector. If you uh, supply 12 volts over here, this relay will uh, switch the signal feed and it will no longer pass through this signal from here. It will cut this out and insert signal from here, from this RCA connector. So by powering the relay over here, you can choose if you want the default standard view from the rear view camera or if you want an alternative input. And I want to install a front camera over here, which I don't have yet, but still let's try to uh, install this and let's check if this actually works. So right now I'm going to remove those uh, two wires and connect them through this device and confirm if the camera still works and then we are going to power, the, power this relay and check if, uh, if it works as I expected. And now the original signal goes here through the relay to the blue connector and I can assemble it back quickly to just check if every, everything still works. Connected, ignition on and I still have image from the rear view camera. So I believe it works. Now let's check if the relay works. So here's my power supply, it's connected to the relay and I, over here I have a button that controls it. You can hear it click, so I believe it works, but let's check if the image looks okay. Great, so next step, connect something over here. There's a camera over there, just lying around and it's, it's using two wires. One is power supply, which I have here. I've split it, uh, this 12 volt uh, power supply. One side is going to the relay, the second one is going to the camera. And over here, I'm using the RCA cable also to connect to this camera. So right now, parking sensors on, rear view, front view, This image flicker is a little bit annoying, the synch synchronization of the camera and the display. Okay, so I believe that this device, which is, where is it, over here, can actually work. That's cool. Let me show you how this crappy camera looks like and why I'm not going to use it. So, first of all, uh, it's not up to the specs that the seller uh, posted. It uh, should be mounted over here, so I would have to cut out this part of the badge and install it. It would be pretty seamless installation and it will be in the center of the vehicle, so that's, ni that's nice. But the specs of this um, camera 
uh, stated that it has 170 uh, degrees of uh, field of view and I've tested it and it's more like 110 or 120 it's too too narrow view for a front view comes because I want to use this I want to use the camera um, for the um, uh, cross traffic uh, cross traffic assistant yeah when you are pulling out from your driveway and uh, you cannot see what's on the left and on the right this camera would be very useful of course if uh, if those uh, if this uh, field of view is uh, wide enough and sadly in this case it's not so don't buy this one i will keep looking for something a little bit better and uh, of course i don't want to use this uh, green button to switch between the cameras i'm actually planning to install a small control module that will uh, that will automatically s uh, switch between the front and uh, rear view based on the um, uh, transmission uh, position and i want to enable one of those dead buttons over here to uh, have the option to switch between the cameras manually if uh, for some reason I want to. Okay, so that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the part one of this uh, modification and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.